Hello, this is Jeff Volker with In-Depth Studies. We're looking today at 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 22. This is the very right uh, two verses before the end of Paul's first letter to the church in Corinth. And he says this, If anyone does not love the Lord, let that person be cursed. Come, Lord. When he says let that person be cursed means go to hell eternally condemned. Um, so but the key issue is Paul saying, if anyone doesn't love the Lord, now he, he's not saying if anyone doesn't believe in God. So because saving faith involves is you're embracing Jesus as your perfect savior and to have all your sins forgiven, but you're also embracing him as the Lord of your life and you want to live for him. Forgiveness of sins is sort of a theological transaction in the court of heaven. You can't see that. But what you can see is a transformed life. And so here, the Apostle Paul is focusing in on the evidence that you have your sins forgiven is that you are a God lover. This is what the Holy Spirit creates in every believer when they are granted the gift of faith. And so if you're not a God lover, that means Jesus didn't die for you. He hasn't paid for your sins. No, we are not. It is the death of Jesus on the cross to pay for our sins, which purchases our acceptance with the Father. But the evidence that he has paid for our sins is that we have this radical work of the Holy Spirit in our lives, which causes us to be incurable God lovers. That is the ultimate mark, that we belong to the Lord. If this has been helpful, you can ch check out uh, Jeff's thoughts on YouTube.com, and you can subscribe to them there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.